to transportation non-existent. Population. Ah, some people are getting old. And then, you know, other stuff doesn't really apply to us just yet. Okay, so now that we've had all these new people move in, I actually have to put a little bit more industry in. Okay, so I'm actually going to buy... How many do we have right now? I, I said I was going to buy this one first. I'm just going to buy this really quickly, just so I can put a little bit more industry in. And did we get the rail? Oh, that is such a little tease. You're so close. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, we'll get it next time. No problem. All right, so industry very quickly. Because I did say I wanted to um, <laughs> do the, the bus station next. But this is important. we got to make sure everyone's happy while we're off building. All right, so we have the one way going up. And you know what? In the grand scheme of it all, this should be a one way. So let's let's just change that. So first we upgrade the street to a one way. And then we're gonna change the direction so it all faces in. You can even see this one's already, and that just encourages you to, you know, follow this the whole way down. So maybe that's a little bit better for traffic. Maybe we just made things who knows? I think we just saved the day. And just for a little bit of variance, we'll just curve that guy like that. And that actually fills the center part very well. So that was a rather fast uh, addition. And perhaps a fire truck. Yes, I think we will need one now. This one will be replaced by a bigger one when we unlock the uh, population milestone. Just for the moment. Because what I'm about to build is going to be very costly, so we're going to have to let this run just for a few, a few seconds. Because I was going to say, somebody, I don't want to say who, probably was me, most likely is me, it was me, um, took out both loans. So I now have to just uh, let the city kind of generate its own income. Which I guess is a, you know, a smart fiscal thing to do anyway. So perhaps we can just plant some trees while we're letting things uh, generate. So sticking with the theme from before, we'll just kind of do a couple styles of trees. We're running down the center here. Um, actually, you know what? Since we have the money coming in, I don't really need to pause it. We'll just set it to one speed. Just that way everything's not... You know, going too out of control, and if any problems do come up, we can tackle them. But let's let's start building this uh this bus net bus network here. All right, so first things first, let's do a little bit of a straight road, and I want to come in. Like, there's got to be enough room. Like, you know, again for the train tracks, right? All right, so let's curve this part here a bit better. And... Le voila? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, that's nicer. Okay, now uh, we'll worry about those after. We can always change our direction if we need to. Alright, so I want basically a series of one-way roads. And I'm hopefully going to do a little bit of symmetry here. So let's find a little bit of a flatter part. Kind of see if it's flatter as you go a little bit further in. So we'll just take um, take advantage of the flatness there. We'll write one ways. Okay, so we want basically an entrance, I guess per se. Oh, no, I know what I want to do. This will look nice. Okay, so we'll go up with uh, like this, and then we're going to break this over, and then this will be coming in. Let's change the direction. Needs. Okay, so that kind of forces traffic this way, right? Dun, dun, dun. And with any luck, yeah, no traffic lights. Oh, that's the winner right there. 
Okay. Now, something we could do for fun. Because I think this would just be a little bit more like, visually appealing. Mm hmm. No, I, that's going to be a little bit too complicated. That, that's fine. I won't even tell you what I was going to try and do there. Oh my goodness, I'm very ambitious with my thinking. Okay, so let's just complete this box. And you can kind of see it's just like a one way the whole way through. And I'm just going to put this. This is 30,000, so let's just drop this. Does that line up? It does. Okay, so this is basically going to spawn the buses. And eventually, this is going to be a very, very, very busy part of town. And if, remember me saying that I, we're going to make this kind of a smaller density just overall? This will, will be where the tallest buildings are going to be at. Just so it kind of suits the motif of our transportation kind of hub. So I'm just running it on three speeds so we get a little bit more money. And, oh, we've unlocked another another uh, set of services and whole... Uh, Oh, oh, our road decorations. Oh, actually, that's a pretty good time. I can use some of these for, for a bus stop. So I'll pause it since we just got the money coming in. There's a few things I do want to place, but we'll kind of deal with that a little bit later. Let's just stay, uh, stay on track here. So for the moment, I plan on having uh, one bus line to kind of serve, um, let's say, each part of the city. So we'll have one serve the lower part on, like, say, this side of the highway. So just down here, and then we'll have one serve the residential part here, kind of mixed in with the commercial, and then we'll have one that serves both, so kind of links them, and then we'll have a fourth one that just goes to work and back. That way there's a lot of overlap and people, you know, they can take essentially any bus they want. And then from the perspective of this place, what I'm looking to do is, so we'll do right in the center, two-way traffic. And we'll do these ones with the trees. But I want to have... So there's one... I basically want to have uh, multiple bus lines coming down. Oh, it's going to be like that, eh? Okay, so maybe we can do a couple of these like this. And then we'll make that one a one-way. One way going up. And this one will be a one-way going in. This will be a one-way going out. Just so traffic kind of is a little bit varied. And you know what? We'll actually put one more going up too. And this is two-way. You'll kind of see what I'm doing. I'm basically going to put each line has its own bus stop starting point um, on a different uh, street with the trees. So you can see we have a little bit of room for growth, and we can even put like a couple that correspond. It's just it's going to start here and, and go outward. So it'll look really, really fun. And if we want, just so that this isn't the only way in and out, we can have a back part. Let's do something similar to the way the one-way roads are laid out. So let's go like this, back like that, and over again. So again, a little bit of a one-way kind of network with a little bit of two-way streets here, one way right here. And then from here. So this is the out. And I'm just gonna line this up. Hopefully correctly, that's the in. And this hopefully will be kind of fun. Oh, I need a road to connect this to. Oh, I see. All right, bear with me two seconds here. This is just placeholder, two seconds. I think I can get this the way I want it to, though. Okay, we'll do it on the tiles. All right, perfect. What I'm trying to do right here is, um, well, I guess I didn't actually need to delete that whole thing, is I'm looking to do, you see how this is now not lined up? See how that goes to here, though? I wish that connected. We see how that's on that side. And then if I line this up, it's perfectly on on that side. What I'm doing is this is just theoretical right now. I would love to get these two at the same height. 
When this comes together, I'm going to be really happy. Okay, so those two are the same height. I'm going to... No, you know what? I'll keep it to um, a curve tool I, and put the snapping on. No, I am going to turn the snapping off. So there's that. I'm, I might have to change this curve. We'll see how this one goes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to change that curve. But you can see I'm basically trying to make like a cool, like break the avenue into into the one ways that are both. Oh, yes! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That is exactly what I'm after. Fun times. Okay. Let's change the direction. Oops. That way you can come in. Oh, you know what though? This should be two-way road. Let's be realistic here. Awesome. Awesome possum. And when we're ready to, and it might require some delicate rezoning, but we could put one train station, we don't have to unlock so I can't show you, hypothetically on each side, and then we can have two lines coming in here, and then they can connect to our, our lakeshore kind of, our line. All right, so again, there won't be any zoning. I might do some commercial, just so it, it looks like there's little shops and stuff while you're waiting for the uh, for the bus, um, but this I want to connect over here just so we can actually make some functional bus routes. All right, now just for the sake of symmetry. Oh right, <laughs> the uh, snap points are off. I was like, no, why are you teasing me? I want a straight road. Okay, so I want to keep this straight, and we'll kind of do some symmetrical stuff just based on this. Oh, that's, that's awesome. And then from here, I'd like to go like this. And I would like to go like that. And then these two can hopefully... Perfect. Now, we're just leaving ourselves a little bit of room for some expansion. Um, you can kind of see, like, nothing's really connected just yet. I do want to have maybe these dot, one on each side, who knows. But we're just going to leave this open. This this way I can kind of complete bus lines, though. Again, there'll be a little bit of room for growth. So because our city is not connected to this zone, let's bring some power over. And again, this is just like super temporary. Just our bus station won't run. Now, I, I really don't think people are going to walk all the way over here just to wait for the bus, so it's just like... In the future, they will, but I am going to put the, like the the stops in place. Okay, so first thing we want to do, like I said, is just kind of pick our um, pick our zones that we want to have the bus support. And usually, what I'll do, like nothing is set in stone. Don't feel like you have to do this. This is just how I do it. I'll have one bus uh, line for each part of the city, and then I'll have you know one that kind of links those two lines or those three lines or whatever. So we'll start on the outside. We always change the color of it too. It doesn't really matter, I guess, what side we stick on. Oh right, those are one-way roads. So we're going to start right over here. And so that means the bus goes out, comes over to here. Here's our first stop. And I said this one's going to go down. make a loop right over here and then for me like you don't have to do this yourself no problem at all what I tend to do is I'll have the bus um, loop back on itself and just kind of follow the same kind of line just back in but you don't have to you can just do a big circle I just do small little loops like this they're just a little bit easier for me mentally for planning and if you wanted to, like, you don't have to go in this way, so let's go in another way. And 
And like, don't put too many stops, but also, you know, don't be afraid to put a few more than you think in. And so we'll come back in this way. That just completes the line. And because the default color is blue, what I'll do right off the gecko is we're going to switch. I have to double click. We're going to switch over to here just so we don't have this part uh, selected. And we're going to click on the line. And this not only changes the line color, but it changes the bus color too. So this will be the red line. And if you wanted to, this would also be where you uh, would do some uh, like deleting and if you didn't like it. Oh, also too, if you click on it, you can kind of see. I mean, there's no stats yet, but this will tell you who's using it. Which is very convenient. And how many car trips it saved. So now we've got the red line. Pushing it to the red line. <laughs> and let's put in the next one. So why don't we have these two together? Or no. What do I say together? Want to make separate silly? Okay. Now, again, in terms of overlap, you can totally click stop over each other, and that'll encourage people to um, switch bus lines. But they will walk to the um, at the nearest bus stop, no problem. They'll actually walk quite a few blocks to, uh, to take public transit. Just like in real life, I hope you guys walk and have a nice healthy uh, lifestyle. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm a driver too, nothing wrong with driving. I'm not saying it's not a healthy lifestyle. There is a fine balance, oh my goodness. Alright, so this one is going to um, basically serve this part of the city. And I'm going to sneak this in. Just so it does get some residential coverage. And again, just going back to what I said before about how I like to have my bus lines just fall back on themselves. Because, you know, for me, at least in, in, in real life, I would kind of expect the bus to be on, go in the opposite direction on the same road, you know, the same line. We'll have an overlapping line like that. And these ones will just overlap the stations. And... In my city, we've got like tons of this kind of stuff. We'll sometimes have like six lines on one bus uh, or one road. And we'll come right back in. And great, now we've got two lines. Okay, so clicking over here again. We're going to make this one our green line. Perfect. And we could also, if you don't like the, like you can change the name. Instead of bus line too, you can say like, you know, the lakeshore line, or you can say like, you know, residential, or you can say like the work line, whatever you want. That's, like, that's honestly the fun part of this game. Okay, so let's throw in another one. And we'll over here this time. So these are actually our one way, so we're going to go this way, out this time. Okay. So actually going from here, and we'll go in to this part. And you can see, if you do overlap the lines like this, people will definitely switch over. So don't be afraid to do that at all. And what I'm just trying to do here is just basically get, you can kind of see the spots where the other bus line hasn't really hit yet. Oh, that's a one way. Oh, this is the one way going out. This is great. So I'm actually going to go this way, stops at the park. Go over here. And like this. And then we'll just go. Cool. So again, a little bit of overlap. So it hits the red and the and the uh, green. And we'll just change this color now. It's actually starting to come together really nice. And we'll make this our purple line. Nice dark purple. I like that. Alright, and one more just to serve work and why don't we do that one also as a way out okay and so going to work what we should do realistically is 
come in and we want to meet with this bus line and we want to meet with the green one too. There we go. I like that route. And we'll go pretty deep into our our industrial zone. Oh, that's because of the one ways. We can't actually go that way. Oh, did I make two one ways going in? I think I did. I believe this was supposed to be a one way. Okay, well, you know what we'll do? Oh, if you want to get rid of a stop, just right click. Sorry, guys, I should have said that a little bit sooner. And if you do place one that you don't like, um, you can always yeah, right click it, or later on, uh, through this one, when you click on your line, you can click drag and like pull the stops and it'll basically bring you back to this style of, um, of, of planning where you put new stops in. Okay, so I may need to change the direction of this road, I think. So let's put that on hold for one second. And upgrade tool. And this was supposed to be a one way going in. I guess I forgot the direction there. Or oh, I remember, I drew that one after, that's right. Either way, super easy fix. You can kind of see it's just to help us with the buses. All right, so you can see we'll just click back on, we'll actually do it through here, not through here, sorry. So you can see that we want to drag a line to add a new stop. So I'm just dragging right now, we're adding a new stop over there. But I'm gonna right click to remove that one and it gives me now, oh, I don't want a new line. There we go. Sorry guys, I'm not really the best explaining this. If you right click once on this, now I'm back to this view where I can put more stops in. If you wanted to simply drag one over, that's when you click and drag. Sorry guys. And I want to go a little bit further. And... Oh, I know what I want to do. This will be cool. Okay, so this way... I'm just basically using the roads to my advantage right here. And I'll just come down... It's one way like that. And, oh no, you know what? I'll make one stop right there. But otherwise, I think we're going to bring this one. Oh, you know what? We can go this way. Okay, so you know what? The, um, because this one connects with so many of the uh, other bus lines, I think we're okay to do what I'm doing here. But we should think about bringing this one home. We're getting a little, a little bit long. All right, and back. Okay, and we'll just change this color as well. This one will be our orange line. Great. And do a little bit of a slow speed for this. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Got all the fun colors. That's so cool. And so the buses, they're spawned based on your budget. If you have a nice, high, healthy budget, you'll get a whole ton of buses. If you don't want that many buses, turn your budget down. All right. So look at them all go. The fleet is going. So I'll turn the speed up. There we go. Finally, a green one. I was like, oh, no, green guys aren't coming. And uh, hopefully, well, not hopefully, they do end up kind of fixing their spacing. But you'll see them kind of making their way through town now. And once you put in a successful bus line, you'll see a lot of leveling up happen very quickly. Because people, they're like fanatics for public transport. They love it. Saves them money, saves them time, especially if it's an efficient route. So they'll, they'll definitely take it over driving. Okay, so we can turn the speed down just a little bit. And awesome, like this is really cool. There's a lot of buses in the town. So this will help big time with the traffic, even though we don't really have very much, but we'll definitely check on the stats of how the bus line's doing in the next episode. But uh, just to wrap up, remember I said I had that surprise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause this for just a split second, I'm going to put in my surprise 
and then you guys will kind of see. So hang tight two seconds. I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for being so patient. Um, so here's the surprise. Honestly, for those of you who've been following me from the beginning, and for those of you who post like on every single video I make and like it and share it, like it means so much more to me than you think. And just as a little bit of a thank you, I want to show you what I did for a few of you guys here. So if you don't, you know, if you don't see your name, don't feel like I don't love you. Like the analogy I want to use, it's like, you know, this is my refrigerator and you guys have drawn me the pretty pictures and I'm putting them up with my magnets and stuff. So this is my way of saying thank you. But for a few of you, I just want to point out some of the uh, new additions to the city. So we have the USA Matman 1 Basketball Courts. This is for you, my friend. Thank you so much for your support. And over here, Monty Team Park. Again, you've been such a long subscriber, man, and like that means so much to me. And this guy, brand new YouTube channel. He's he's making such a such a fun impact, and he's got so many great suggestions. So the Porter Washington Parkway. He's the one who keeps telling me to put all the trees up and down the uh, the center like this. So here's to you, my friend. And uh, the one and only LTM Park. This guy always comments. Longtime subscriber, big support. Much love goes out. And my good friend, Mr. Eric. Eric is average. I've made a botanical garden just for you with a nice little surrounding area. So expect more of this in the future because you guys, like, shout out to you. Hats off. Thank you so very much. It's because of people like you that you grow this channel and you just make me want to make more videos. And again, don't, don't feel like I don't love the rest of you. Please don't misinterpret this. There's so much more room for, for more parks named after more people. So this is just my way of saying thank you and I want to... Yeah, I want to do a little bit more of this, so thanks, guys. And uh, I hope we had a lot of fun in this episode. You know, we got a cool bus network. I see how that's going now that it's been a, uh, a little bit. Uh, traffic never really was a problem, so I guess that really doesn't make much of a difference. But there we go. There's our bus lines. And you can see so far, 150 people per week are using them. So that's actually not too bad of a start. Let's kind of go in and see. Here's everybody waiting for the the bus now. Anyway, thanks guys. I appreciate all the support and I hope to see you in episode four. Thanks again.